But yeah. In a mountainous region. Uh, pumpkin hell, yeah. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be continuing his knuckles. Uh, yeah, that's not an obvious, obvious power up in, in, the, in the front, is it? Yeah. The shovel claw, which... It actually looked greatly improved in this game compared to the original. Because in the original... Because in, in the original game, what... Uh, I don't know why it took so long to go through that, but yeah. In the original, you had to just, you had to press um, A and uh, press the jump button in the, in the action button, which I guess would be A and B. But not in this one. In this one, it's a lot more versatile. You can actually just do it from that dive move. In fact, that's the, that's the primary way you're going to do it. You can also just do it from a stationary position, but there aren't many situations where you where you'll do that. It's actually one of the bigger levels in the game for Knuckles, for Knuckles at least. I think there's one that's bigger. And that's like right near the end. So again, I'm not going to give too much away. No. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to... The little icon above Knuckles' head tells you it's there. So you didn't get the, the get all the points because that, that icon, that monitor I accidentally use. This thing is where you use the Mystic Melody. It's used for one of the um, other objectives in the levels. Um, we have to find a lost Chow. Uh, the Mystic Melody is another upgrade you find for each character uh, separately in each level. So you, you, you kind of need that. It's a, it's a bit of a bitch, but yeah. Ah, oh, let's see. Ah. Oh. Da da da. Let's try and figure out where this. Oh, it's not there. Oh shit, ghosts! Yeah, ghosts are in this thing. Also, I didn't mention this, but yeah, the rap song of this level is like incredibly stupid, and that's what makes it great. Fuck it, I'm just gonna. Three Brothers Tombstones, well, yeah, that's where I am. Oh, it's in the grass, of course. Hmm, hmm, yeah, yes, hmm, hmm, obviously. Ugh. So, yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm awesome. Yeah, Knuckles, Knuckles and Rouge are really easy to get the A ranks for. It's really a lot easier than it probably should be, honestly. Day X. It's always X, isn't it? You, know, you can never be specific. Now, it says Robotnik Empire, but it calls it the Eggman Empire. And it's notable that, remember in Adventure 1, that he's always like, I am Robotnik, not Eggman. And I was like, no, no, I'm Eggman. Even though the name Robotnik's behind him. I don't think it's changing for the Japanese version or what, but yeah. So this is a lot. Like, this thing is based basically like the Death Egg from um, the older games. It's kind of weirdly designed when you find out the actual origin of this place because Eggman didn't build this. I've been I actually I've been advisable to start on the Dark Story because the Dark Story begins earlier and th like, stuff like this occurs later. But yeah, so that, that's the Eclipse Cannon. And yeah, I'd, he just blew the moon in half. I don't know if that would actually affect, like, the gravitational effect it has on the Earth and the tides and that. I assume it would, but it doesn't. Well, strangely, the destruction of the moon is never acknowledged in any later game. It's kind of weird. Eggman. Oh, that creep never gives up. So, yeah. But how did he manage to harness all that energy? So, they're here together, Sonic, Tails, and Amy. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, Knuckles doesn't actually meet up with the other until much later. So he's already gone through most of his levels. Did they say about the, the emeralds being able to attract each other? It's never been mentioned before. And you know what you don't see to these people? Yeah, so... Yeah, so I think... I think Sonic and Amy have to keep the the gun guys distracted while Tails just runs off. Also, a weird thing is that they call it G-U-N in the more recent ones, instead of gun. Which, you know, obviously if you've got an anagram, you're going to call it by the anagram. Especially if the anagram is an actual word. Like, well, gun, you don't... I think because it, was, because it was dubbed by, like, a four kids cast. So I guess they want to keep it more kid friendly. But it still says gun. Just call it... I mean, like, Keep, keep in mind, like, you know, I was like Sonic 06, and like, the previous game had guns in it. I, well, it, the reason this used guns, there's guns everywhere in this series, just that there's only one game where you can use it. No! I don't think you can make that until you get this the booster. Wee! Honestly, I'm not a fan of this level, really. I'm not, I'm not too big on it, but um, yeah, it's a, it's, one, it's one of the ones that's a real bastard to, to do. Uh, I think it's the time limit objective, which is one of the later emblems. Like that's that's real, really hard to get on this one. Because of course, that number of rings you have is also important, and uh, and uh, these levels have a lot more enemies than any of the others. So uh, you know, the enemies are shooting at you, so you're gonna get hit more often. So you're not going to have that many rings to take with you at the end, so... You know, that's, that's why it's hard to get, get the, the better ranks on these levels. See, and bullshit like that, I'd get by a fucking jet. How the fuck was I supposed to be able to do anything about that? Also, you have to wonder, Tails on ground level a few minutes ago, now suddenly he's, up, he's here. In this... Weird thing. See, I think I met, I'm pretty sure I touched on this in uh, the Sonic Convention 1 Let's Play. But like trying, but applying like Sonic level design to like real world style environments, it doesn't really make any sense. Like look, like you got the, cause like who the fuck would build roads like this? How could they build roads like this? You know, like of all the of all the levels that are like this, I think City Escape's probably the one that makes the most sense. Uh. But yeah, so I, I, honestly, I think this, this game is actually the first time you can play as Eggman in a mainstream Sonic game. Like, not just like Sonic R or Sonic Drift or something. No, like... Actually, I think, about it, I think it's just been racing games that we can play as Eggman, other than this one. Which is kind of weird. I mean, I know he's the villain, but... You know, this, this game actually marked a turning point in Eggman's um, role in the story, is that... That he's typically... Well, Sonic Adventure 1 did it, did, but this one took it to a different level. Well, Eggman is basically not the main antagonist anymore. Like, he, he, he might set the plots up, but he's, he's never the main villain. He might be the final boss for, for like, Sonic's story or whatever, but... As far as the overall game goes, he's never the main antagonist anymore. I mean, I think I, th I think he was in the advanced games, which had much simpler plots, and I think they were supposed to be set before Adventure, or summer. That might, well, that might have been a, fa a theory I read on, on regarding the Sonic timeline, but yeah. So yeah, lots of dudes to take out. But yeah, these levels are also are a lot slower than the, than the, the, the gamma ones. And yeah, the, the reason the camera panned up then was to show the uh, road above, which collapses. And there's another one that collapses there. That's what that rumbling was, if you could hear that. I don't know if, it, if you can from the volume we're going to put in the, the audio app, but yeah. See, there are 99 rings in the level, and I was only able to get 10. I think you need to get 25,000 points to get an A rank. Which, if that fucking jet hadn't hit me, I would have got. 
Because I would have had enough rings to secure that extra thousand, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, mountainous region. A mine. Uh, this this is this is uh, this can be a pretty long level, depending on where the game decides to put the emerald pieces. I didn't expect the it's kind of cool having the having like cutscenes in the levels though. This is gonna be than I uh, all right, it's up here. We uh, no word. Uh, okay, it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, so this is a level where it's advisable to uh, try and get the uh, the emerald to, 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 to use uh, the things, the hints. Uh. And you can dig into walls now, that's, that's a really cool thing. There we go. Uh, yeah, so and I didn't mention this, but um, surprised I didn't mention it. But uh, the switch pressed up top it alters the water level. Is it? Is a that's like a, a major gimmick of this level, altering the water because Knuckles can swim in this one. The actual swimming, and it's not just like a shitty thing with Big Boy like he floats or sinks. Well, okay, no, actually, it is like that, admittedly, but there's a, there's a, it kind of feels a, that there's, a, there's more to it. It's, it's hard to explain until you see it. But if, if you've uh, if you've played this game and played as Knuckles and Big both separately swimming, you'll you'll know what I mean. Ah, it's in here. That explains that. Ah, the fuck. Oh, actually, uh... Oh, shit. No, I can't end it. I can't I can't finish the level yet because there is something that I actually forgot to, to include. I forgot to do. I don't recall... Ex I don't remember exactly how to do it, but it's something you have to do in order to clear the game later. The game doesn't tell you this. You're supposed to figure it out yourself. Okay, so it's not that one, I don't think. Is it one down here? Because basically, there's a, there's a certain uh, power up you obtain in this level that you absolutely need to be able to clear the game later. I think that was. Oh, is this the one? There's big. No. That's weird. Okay, I'll try at level two then. Because. Yeah, I almost completely missed that. But you need to you need this upgrade, otherwise it's impossible to clear the game later. I think this is it. I think I think you have to go down here when with the water. When the, when there's actually water there. Okay, so no oh shit. No, oh, that's this isn't the one eat this it's not the one. Absolutely not. It's a, it's a different one. Hmm. Damn it. Uh, sorry about this. I, I, I've... Uh, I think it's this one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's that, that one the. I need to lower the water level again quickly. No, I can't get. Are you kidding me? I have to raise the water level so I can reach the switch to lower it. Oh, that's just ridiculous, but yeah. Okay, now where is that one? Damn you. Damn you. Yeah, this is the one, yeah. Alright, now this can be tricky. Uh, come on. 
Yeah, so you can see there's, there's more to it than, than there was as big. And unlike in the older Sonic games, there's no way to just get air balloons. I mean, air bubbles. Come on, Knuckles. Uh, yeah. The air necklace. It gives you infinite oxygen. Now, Rouge doesn't get anything like that, but only because... I think swimming is only part of one of her levels. I think. Whereas Knuckles uses it in two. Yeah, so basically, uh, basically the other, other part we play is Knuckles. Uh, you, ab you absolutely need this ne uh, necklace, otherwise you, si you can't complete it. Because because it involves an extended swimming section, which you, you simply cannot complete without this uh, necklace. I almost skipped over it. I mean, obviously I would have had to go back and I would have recorded that if I, if I did, but yeah. Okay, now. It was down there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in here. I'm obviously not going to get an, get an A rank, but I did get the uh, the upgrade, which is ultimately more important for this let's play. That's not there. And that's also a bomb ice, uh, item which blows up all the enemies on screen, so... Yeah. Alright, let's stop the hero story there and next time we will begin with the dark story. See how that goes.